Hi, in this video I'd like to go over a little bit about scientific notation and the use of E99. If we need to type in 1 times 10 to the 99th power, a very large number, we can type second E99. I'll show you the calculator strokes for that in just a moment. If I need to enter a very large negative number, I can type in the opposite of 1 times 10 to the 99th power. This would be negative second E99. Oftentimes in the study of normal distributions, we will need a representative for positive infinity and a representative for negative infinity. Infinity is not a number, that's the concept. So we can at least use a very large negative number or a very large positive number to stand in place of infinity if we need it. This is also not to be confused with the constant E. So let's look on the calculator and see how each of these appears. Okay, first of all, if I wanted to enter 1 times 10 to the 99th power, I can do that two ways. I can do that keystroke for keystroke, 1 times 10 to the power 99. And when I hit enter, it appears 1e99. I could have also typed the same thing as second e, which is above the comma, it's actually a double e there, above the comma, 99. Hit enter, it's the same thing. Fewer keystrokes. Likewise, I could type, look at the difference please, between the subtraction key and the negative key. I've got to use the negative key here, or else I'll produce error messages in certain functions. Negative parenthesis 1 times 10 raised to the 99th power close parenthesis. Enter. I could have more simply done this by typing, again, make use of the negative second E 99. Hit enter. See? Same thing. Less keystrokes. Okay, and lastly I wanted to point out to you that this is different from the constant E, which is above the natural log function. Second function, E raised to the first power is the constant 2.718 to eight, repeating. So we notice seven one eight two eight one eight two eight, <coughs> repeating. I hope this is helpful in especially using um, second E ninety nine and negative second E ninety nine for a representative for positive infinity and negative infinity. This concludes this video.